Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing a tortoise. Now, if you've tuned in hoping to see me draw a turtle, I apologize. We're drawing a tortoise. So let's start. Well, tortoises have large round shells. So let's start at the top here and give it a large round shell. Here we are making a curved line down to the left and then doing the same thing down to the right. Well, that wasn't so hard. Even I didn't mess it up too badly. We can connect these two points with a sort of smooth line. And don't worry too much about whether it's straight or not. Here's the top of our tortoise's shell. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to draw some legs. Now, unlike turtles, tortoises are land animals and have thick, stocky legs, kind of similar to elephants, I guess. Let's draw one. What I suggest to do is make an upside-down U, a fairly good-sized one, right about here. Next, take this line and continue it going back. What we've done here is made a knee. And by continuing back here, reflecting this line, We've made the back of the leg. To give it more definition, what we can do is we can take this line here and loosely make a right angle coming off of it like this, but with a curve to it. Let me show you what I mean. This is the line. This would be a right angle, more or less. But what we're going to do is make a curve. In fact, let's make that right angle, and I'll show you why. Because adding that right angle and that curve, we wound up making the back of the leg. Isn't that nifty? If you missed it, we're going to do it again over here. Big upside down U. A line that goes back a little bit. A line that complements that line. Then, kind of a 90 degree angle from one of the lines. And a couple of curled lines on either side of it. Hey, hey, we've got a couple of legs. And the feet are pretty easy because they're more or less square from what I know. I'm sure I'll look at a picture of a tortoise after this and realize how badly I've done. But I do know that this is the kind of a leg a tortoise has, rather than a turtle that has webbed feet with big claws on them because they swim in the water. Next, let's give this guy a little tail. Make one curved line from just at the base of the shell like that. And then another one, meeting it at the top like that, starting a little bit below. You can connect this area right here with a curve, a little reverse C. And he'll need a head. So let's start over here at the front of the shell. And we'll want to make a kind of an S shape right here. But stop! Don't go too far. I want you to put a little circle right there at the end of that S. Then on the other side of the circle, as if continuing from that line, make a big reverse C like that. Next, you want to make another line that reflects this line to continue the neck of the tortoise. 
So this line kind of follows that line. And we can end it the same way we ended the tail, with a C going in the direction of the legs. Now for the bottom of the shell. And since we have the head, the tail, and the legs already done, we pretty much know where this has to be. So we'll start here, go down just a little bit, and curl under the leg like that. Then imagine where it would be on the other side. Continue it a little further till it gets to the back of that leg. And then over here, bring it back up to meet the turtle's neck hole. Now let's add some texture. We can make curved lines on the bottom of the tortoise. These aren't really shadow lines. These are actually the texture of a tortoise's bottom, from what I know. We can also thicken this line a bit, give it a bit of a shadow to show that it's coming over the bottom. So what you're going to want to do is just make a tiny squiggle with your marker or pencil or whatever underneath the shell going across like that. Then just sort of fill in any gaps you missed. Just kind of give a, a bit of a shadow, a bit of an uneven shadow underneath the shell. Now you could make any kind of pattern you really want on the tortoise's shell if you want to be creative. I think tortoise shells often look like this, with kind of a soccer ball kind of a thing going on. I live in New York City and my exposure to tortoises is pretty slim. I think they have some over at the zoo. I see turtles a lot over in Chinatown. Some people buy them as pets. Same things with the frogs. So what I'm basically doing here is just making geometric shapes and connecting them. <laughs> because I don't really know what a tortoise's shell looks like. If you want to do this more accurately, I would suggest, you know, looking at a picture of a tortoise. We can use some shading techniques to kind of flesh this out a little bit so that the pattern seems to be reflecting the plates of the shell. Is that the right term? I don't know. If you do, put it in the comments below. I'm not going to look it up. Here we are. A little bit more shadowing back here. Really starting to look like a shell now. Now tortoises can live to over a hundred years old. And the oldest living tortoise is 182 years old, they believe. And his name is Jonathan. Next what we're going to want to do is finish the eyeball. Why not? Let's give him a little eyelid just a little line that goes across the top of the eye. And then a little curve in there. <laughs> there you go. Then we can make a little curve behind this line and just kind of imply a mouth. You can bring the line in a little bit more if you want. And you can put some shading on the tail and the legs. And the neck and head. There we go. And with a little bit more shadowing on the uh, bottom of the shell here. To show that it's underneath the turtle, or the tortoise, excuse me. See how easy it is to confuse the two? I believe we've come to a conclusion. 
it's a tortoise. And since he lives on the ground, we can use our grass texture to give him a place to be. Just kind of run this pattern right past the bottom of his feet. Maybe even give him a little flower friend. <laughs> Though I imagine it's a little snack for him or something. I don't know. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, hit the like button. Hit the share button. Um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I promise to draw better and better things. After all, practice may not make perfect, but I don't think I have to make perfect to get better than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Uh, Reverend Jay Goldstein, until next time. Ta-da!